Hey everyone, if you're like me, you are just ecstatic to have the new Fall Creators update of Windows 10. If for no other reason, for the improvements that have been made in OneDrive. What this allows us to do is store some things in the cloud, store th some things locally on our computer, in addition to the cloud, etc. But the old version, basically anything that you synchronize was stored both in the cloud and on your computer, taking up disk space. So let me quickly show you here. I'm going to open up my OneDrive here. There we are. And as you can see, so what we're looking at is my college OneDrive, and these are all the folders on them. Now, what I want to do is quickly explain the status icons that you see here. So this icon here lets me know that this file is stored in my OneDrive on the cloud. It's not stored on my computer. These files here, these folders, are stored both on my computer as well as in the cloud. And this one, I've indicated I want to store permanently on my computer. Okay, so it's in the cloud and it's going to be on the computer. So let me go ahead and pick like this June 6th file. I'm going to right click on it. And from here, I'm going to say always keep on device. And if you notice, that little icon is going to change to a filled in check mark. That lets me know that this file is always going to be on my computer and always in the cloud. So as you can see, I have a lot of stuff here. It was taking up a lot of space. Uh, for example, I moved this file here that was accumulating 4.4 gigs of disk space on my laptop and I moved it in the cloud. So let me show you how to do this. First of all, if you have something that is stored and synchronized locally, if you just right click on it, this works for both files and folders, and you say free up space, you'll notice that it's now synchronizing and it's moved that to the cloud. Let me do one more. Right click, free up space, and it's gonna move the contents of that folder as well into the cloud. Now that's a little bigger folder and it'll take a little while to synchronize, but after that, we'll see it's there. I can always, by the way, come in here, go to like my fall grading, for example, and choose to always keep that on my device, okay? I can also just go in, click a file. When I click a file, it's gonna download. I can work on that file and then synchronize it back to the cloud. So hopefully this helps you with the feature. It makes great sense. Um, you can free up some disk space. You can archive things in your OneDrive. Remember though, that if it's not on your computer and you're not connected to the web, connected to your OneDrive, you're not gonna have access to those till you reconnect to the web. That's the key. I hope this helps. Take care.